Hi, so this is a quick tutorial on how to get your RNB patches working in Unity in Mac OS. So there are a few prerequisites that we need before we get this going. Uh, we need home, home, we need homebrew, we need your Xcode tools, we need CMake, Git, a GitHub account, and GitHub desktop. Uh, so first thing that we need is homebrew. Uh, what homebrew is? It's a package management system for Mac OS uh, that you can download from the website. Uh, you just need to paste this into your turn into your terminal and hit and, and hit enter and that should get it working. I already have it installed, so if I do brew, I get all these things. Uh, but that's one thing that you need to do. The next thing we need is Xcode tools. So you need to copy that command, paste it, and hit install. I already have it, so I don't need to do that. And next thing you need is CMake. This helps. Um, this helps to build the app application that you're. This helps to build the code that you're exporting from RNBO and Max. Uh, and you use this. You install this by using Homebrew. The next thing is you need Git and a GitHub account and desktop and GitHub desktop. So first thing that we need to do is we need to go to this web page where we have the RMBO example from Cycling, from Cycling 74. You need to be make sure that you're signed in into your GitHub account. So you need to make sure you have a GitHub, a GitHub account. And then you get this, use this template um, option. And you need to say create new repository. Let's give it a name. We're going to call it Unity Plugin Test. And I'm going to make it private and I want to say include all branches and create the repository. So now it's going to create a repository for me using um, this, temp this template. And you see that all of this is in here. You can ignore all of this stuff. And now the same thing that you had made, the same thing that uh, Cycling Se uh, same template that Cycling 74 put up is now on your GitHub account. Now what you need to do is you need to clone this GitHub account onto your system. So for that, we're going to use GitHub Desktop and open it up. Uh, I'm going to go, this is the older version that I was using. I'm going to say clone repository. Yeah, and these are all the repositories that are on my machine on my account. So I'm going to just look for Unity plugin test and I'm going to put it under documents. I'm going to say select and I'm going to clone. So now this is going to pull everything from the web onto my finder. Let's give it a second. Sweet. So this is now cloned into our local repository and we can check that by going to finder and if you look for unity plugin test everything is in here so next thing that we need to do is go to our terminal we're going to cd to our documents and to unity plugin test and if you ls then all the stuff is over here uh, we just need to run one command over here this command and if you come here it means that it has run fine okay next thing that we need to do is export our RNB patch into this export folder so I have a small little patch here this just simulates some um, critters and some um, like and, and some and ambience so I'm going to go into my RNBO patch, go to the export, choose C++ source code export, uh, choose the output directory and this should be under Unity plugin test and I want to put it in export. So I'm going to say click this export to select a target and it's done. So I can mute this now and if we check under export everything that we need is in here. So the next thing that you need to do is you need to cd into build, which is the build directory in here, and you see that there's nothing. So we're going to say cmake dot dot. This is going to now 
build everything that we need. Actually, let's just cancel that. Before we do that, I'm just gonna go into build and delete all these files. And one small thing that we need to take care of before we go into this. So this plugin.cmake file, this is something that you need to check first. So I'm gonna go into open with text edit. Mm, text edit. Okay, now depending on what you're making, uh, you have to um, uh, you have to change this folder depending on that. So first thing that you need to check is that if it's making a VST and if it's making a Unity's thing. So that is all right. Next thing what you want to do is you want to change uh, if you're making a synthesizer, that means that it's something that's making sound. You want to make sure that is synth is true. But if you're making a, a processor like a compressor or like a delay device, then you, then you want to make sure this is false. Uh, needs MIDI input, this needs to be false. Needs MIDI output, needs to be false. Is MIDI effect false? Um, editor wants keyboard focus. So you can change your plugin manufacturer code, any plugin code. And over here, I'm just going to change this. So this is the name of the plugin that it's going to make. So I'm going to say insects, or I'm going to say insect ambience. So that's the final name that it's going to make. So I'm going to save that. And under cmakelists.txt, here you see that I'm on an I'm on an MM1 Mac, so I need to uncomment this one line to make sure that it builds for me. Okay, now all of this is set. We can go back to our terminal and run the cmake um, command again. This will take some time, so we just wait till it's done. Okay. So now this is done. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is, if this is done successfully, we're gonna do CMake, hyphen, hyphen, build, period. All of these commands are gonna be in the description down below, and everything that you need to install is also gonna be on the dis in the description down below. So once that's done, we're gonna say enter. And this will take the longest, this will take about, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your device. Um, if you have an M1, it takes about five minutes. If you have an Intel or something that's not as high powered, it might take a little bit longer because it's building the plugin for you. So let this build and go get some coffee, get some tea, and come back to it. All right, so we see that this is all done. So now everything is going to be put into the build folder under build artifacts, debug, under Unity, you should see an insect amp install bundle. So test this out, and we're gonna bring up Unity Hub. This is on Mac OS. We are going to wait for it to load. Cool, I'm gonna open a new project. I'm gonna say I want a 3D template. Okay, open project one. Sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna create a cube, and next thing I'm gonna do is under assets, I'm gonna bring in our insect ambience bundle. And what you need to do, click on it, uh, and say load on startup and apply. Next thing we need to do is apply. You need to hit command eight, bring up a mixer, and I'm gonna say ambience and under this i'm going to add this plugin and over here you see that i have certain parameters that have been exposed this is to control the levels of each of the um what do you call it insects that i've made uh insects and critters and everything so on the cube i'm gonna say add component audio audio source I'm going to make sure that the output is going to my ambience master. Click on that. Uh, play on VAIC. Yep, that should be good. Now when I hit play, hopefully, yep, there you go. Everything is working and I can go in edit and play mode. I can control the levels of different things. So that's how you... export 
your arm build patch. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below and like, share and subscribe, please.